seriously, this place is amazing. It's so, so beautiful. All the houses, the little streets and the, the canals, they're so, so beautiful. Look it up. At the end of our Venice day, day trip. Day trip. First time of it. Yeah. How was it? Seriously, it's one of the most surreal and uh, beautiful cities I have ever seen. Someone, but there's no wine. <laughs> yes, that was so, my dream. Uh, definitely one of the highlights of this trip. Yeah, you know, we woke up very early today. We took one of the first boats to Venice just to have breakfast in there. At the best, Monday feelings is dialed, of course. Couldn't complain about the view. Then, we went to explore the city of love. We visit the Piazza San Marco first. They are men square with a beautiful cathedral in San Marco's style. Then we did what everybody else does, get lost in town. whether to go on a gondola ride. You know, a ride costs 8 euros and Venice in general is expensive. So we decided to just watch. The only problem with Venice is seriously the smell of the water. It's terrible. I didn't say anything. She realized by herself. So, you know, the myth is actually true. Yeah, he does it just smell. smells too bad. And the worst problem of the smelly water is that there is water everywhere. Even the hospital ambulance is about. So we continued our day through the crowds of Venice, finding where we are just to get lost again, and suddenly bump into a mesmerizing scenario. Venice is so artistic that it really felt we were inside the famous paint, particularly because the Biennale of Venice was happening all over town. Just amazing to be there. We left Venice with a piece of us missing. We will most definitely come back again. One of the highlights of this trip is Venice. Seriously, it's a beautiful, beautiful city. Yeah, well, now we need to make our way back to Punta Sabiano. Which is uh, the place where our camp is. Yeah, uh, we just found out that the last boat is 12.30, so we have time. Yeah, it's now a good it's about option, 10 like o'clock. No, 10 ish. 9, I think, yeah. yeah. Like that. So we have time. We'll finish this bottle of wine, go to the camp. Tomorrow, wake up early because we have a long day of cycling. We need to get to Trieste soon. We actually need to get to Slovenia on the 5th. We were behind the schedule. Two days, I think, no? Yeah, so we need to hurry up. So tomorrow will be another long day.
¡Bravo! Yeah. We are trying to get to what's the name? Leone Sabionetta. Uh, Lignano Sabiadori. Yeah, we are trying to reach Lignano Sabiadori today, and then we were on the main road, and it was too crowded, full of trucks and buses, and too windy. So we decided to take an alternative route. We were happy because we saw a cycle path by the by the sea, but seriously. Impossible. Impossible. It was so windy, like you just cannot cycle there. So now we found an alternative to the alternative. <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> we are two blocks away from the the coast. Still windy, but not so bad and not crowded. So that's good. The city is quite cute. It looks like one of those cities that only works during the summer. And it's really modern. It's really modern, and probably is. It's full of Germans because everything is written in German. Now we really feel we were in a different part of Italy. The cycleways are always scattered around. We didn't know exactly which route to follow. We even crossed a private bridge. All right, so we've arrived in somewhere. Eraclea, Eraclea Mare. And uh, we're gonna stop for a couple of sandwiches. I feel my leg a little bit, don't you? Yeah? Yeah, I can feel yeah. it. I just feel a little bit tense because uh, it's so windy and so strong. So, especially like when we are on the motorway, I'm scared uh, the, the wind will blow me against the. Towards the car, right? Towards the car, yeah. Yeah, because we've got lots of stuff, you know, so. I see and that. I'm very light. And the way it's very confusing, you know, there isn't like a cycle path and uh, the, the one map shows one other way and the other's a, a different way. So we're just like going by the sea pretty much and now we're gonna like get into the country. Oui. So we've we've crossed some nice cities, you know, Gesola. Yeah. Lido de Gesola. Very nice. Lido de Gesola is very beautiful, very modern, not really Italian, not at all. I uh, then we just passed this entrance of Heraclea, uh, which is very charming. Nice little houses yeah, by the very river. Charming. Yeah, very liked, but more like a Italian tradition. Yeah. So let's eat. At that point, we just wanted to get as near as possible to Trieste. We had no idea where and how we were going to spend the night. We just wanted to go as far as we could. Then, we found this city, Kaorle, which was really charming. It was a good surprise on our itinerary. They have a nice beach and we wouldn't mind coming back for a few days over there. We really enjoyed it, cycling for a while around there, but that reminded us we had to hurry up. We were ready to camp by the motorway again. The problem is we are out of food and we had to have dinner and breakfast for the next day. Obviously, we didn't think of that when we were in Kaorle. Now it started to get dark and find a place to camp in the middle of nowhere when you can't see anything is a real problem. There we were again, worried of where we're going to sleep, having no idea what was about to happen to us. Yesterday we cycled like from close to Venice to the city which was like around 70 kilometers. We were so tired, like Tiago as well, but I can only say for myself. Uh, I was so tired I felt like crying at some point. So it was starting to get dark at 6 o'clock or something like that, so we we had to to decide where to go, where to sleep, like where to set up our tent and we ended up in this city which we saw on the map so we had to deviate our way to be here, to arrive here 
and we didn't have expectations or anything but uh, as soon as we entered the city people seemed just so nice never seen anything like that like everyone was so kind smiling greeting each other just had a very good atmosphere um, so I went to have some pizza because we were starving and when we left the pizza place we started cycling just to see where we could put our tent and we saw a tent someone camping by the main canal right at the city center and we were like so who in the world like camps at broad light like that we never see anything like that because as far as i know it's it might be forbidden to camp to wild camp here in italy so we decided to go there we spoke to the to the guy that was there and he was fishing so he spends the night in the by the canal fishing and he invited us to put our tent next to his which we did we spent the night talking uh, some of his friends arrived very nice people just gentle kind caring people Você lembra aquela pedra de São Marco? Vocês falaram que a água vem até aqui. É! E fica os flamingozinhos ali. Eu! Nossa! <risos> doeu! Tem flamengo na São Marco? Doeu! <risos>